Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. My name is Michelle. Welcome to my tarot table. This is a weekly tarot card reading that comes to you whenever the message is needed. So it doesn't matter what date it's coming out. But if you want to get it fresh off the press, please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Capricorn, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So, or wherever Capricorn energy impacts your chart, you apply it to where it resonates for you. And whatever energies are revealed within this reading, apply it to the part of your life that it resonates most with. So if it's sounding romantic or it's sounding about work, but it's resonating with a different part of your life, it's because it's resonating or culminating in a different house. So use it the way that it resonates for you. We're going to go over the astrology throughout this video. First, we're going to go over current situation. We'll get a little bit into the past. The cards are already on the table. And then we'll figure out what's going to happen in the future. So first of all, the, astro the astrology is actually very beautiful this week is toned down for you especially in comparison to a lot of the energies that other zodiac signs are experiencing there's a peacefulness about it it's almost like you've gone through your shit and so now you get to sit back and just not not to say that you're watching everybody else going through it but but you you kind of know how it feels i think you're in a wonderful place of empathy is what i'm saying um because boy oh boy did you have some crap that you had to face throughout the summer so now it's kind of free and clear. Saturn is square to Uranus and there are changes. Oh, the changes are here. But you have an interesting relationship with those changes in that you're kind of the quality control person. It's like there's an acceptance about your energy that knows, okay, things are changing. Let me just make sure that the changes are good ones that we don't throw the baby out with the bath water and get rid of shit just because it's easier to get rid of everything. No, 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 no. Quality control. I really love the Saturn square Uranus aspect for that reason. Another major aspect that you probably felt really kind of radiating because Saturn has really been sitting in Aquarius square to both nodes this whole year which is karma, which is karmic cycles being completed. And if you feel that there has been a release or a relaxation in your life or in your environment in the recent week or so, or throughout this week, it is because of that new moon. The new moon uh, slash solar eclipse that happened in Scorpio on Tuesday. Um, basically marked what Saturn has been working on the entire year, which is the change, the switch, the karmic release, the fulfillment of one cycle, the completion, the end of it, and then the beginning of a new one. And that is exactly what really Saturn has been working on for a while now, almost this whole year. So if you're sitting back and you're like, wow, other people have finally caught up to my energy, or yes, other people are finally starting to agree with these changes that have to happen. And I'm finding it easier to communicate with others or others being on board, or I'm just finding it easier to like, <laughs> feeling more relieved, relieved because the stress is over, that feeling of impending doom is done, and the new beginnings are here. What I love for you later on this week in the astrology is this beautiful trine that happens as soon as Mars goes into retrograde, I think it's Thursday of this week, Saturn, that, that trine between Saturn and Mars forms. So it's like you've done the work. You've already done the work. And this is when we start to see progress coming from initiatives you've already taken, conversations you've already had, maybe somebody calling you that hadn't called you in years, finally getting back to you, returning that phone call, making progress. I say communications because Mars is in Gemini, so it'll be happening through talk or conversation, maybe a conversation you had back in April with somebody finally culminates in some sort of job or work or progress now. It doesn't have to be your career, but I'm saying that because Mars is in retrograde, it's almost like 
you'll feel an ease, you'll feel the tension let up, and there's this sense of possibility again. Because people aren't so driven to just move forward. They're willing to consider what's happened in the past. If you, if you follow my metaphor here with career, it's almost like, have you ever applied for a job? And feel free to leave comments below. I love to hear your comments and your experiences. So tell me how this energy is impacting you. But leave the comments below and let me know if you've ever, I mean, you can leave the comments on anything, absolutely. But, but if you've ever had a job interview and you thought you did really well and you didn't get the job, but they'll email you this boilerplate response that says, we'll keep your resume on file. It's like, listen, you know you loved me. You kept my resume on file. How come six months later I see you putting a new job posting on LinkedIn? That's similar, you know I'm qualified. Why do I gotta get in touch with you again? Why, before you put the job posting up, don't you go back and look to see those people that impressed you but just didn't get the job then? Why can't you just call me? That's the kind of call that might happen now. Where people do remember you. And they, they, they're laid back enough. The intensity is calmed just enough. So they're like, but I do remember this person. So let me give her a ring. Let's see if he's still available. It's that kind of energy. You know, so it's like you put the work in. And now it's finally getting you somewhere. Let's get into the cards. We have in the past, the miracles are endless. That means there was opportunity, prosperity, and abundance. What is it in your life, especially financial, career-wise, or even traditions, because this is Taurus energy, the sense of being selected, being chosen, maybe by an industry or by a Taurus, by a person. This abundance happened in the past. There was a lot of opportunity. There was a lot of potential here. It doesn't mean that it's over. It just means that this is where it began a while back. Then we have time to let go. This is our current situation. Now our current situation is saying that there has been something that's bothering you bothering you and it could be that these this opportunity from the past that maybe never came to be or just a sense of some sort of burden attached to it if it did come to be is what you're able to let go of there's also a sense of expectations or living higher on the hog right and and spending so much money like almost in some ways if you have been living in the prosperity of the past and not acknowledging that your situation has changed, this is the time to let it go. You know it's been coming, you felt it. So now is the time that you're ready to say, okay, I can't keep doing this anymore because this actually isn't relevant anymore. Then we have know your worth. So the fact that these cards are coming out together, can you see them? Not really. Um, the fact that these cards are coming out together, I'll lift them all up for you, is, is telling me that whatever you're receiving and whatever's coming for you, you're ready. You're ready. You know your value. You know your worth. Perhaps it's this lesson that's taught you your worth and a change in what value is or what, how you value yourself or what you think you are. Why, why you think you're worth something, right? That mentality in, in realizing that you're worth more than just numbers and dollars and cents and, and, and growth and, and notoriety, that your value goes deeper. It's more emotional in nature. And then we have take time out, which is an authority figure. Um, an authority figure or a sense of urgency. So this sense of recognition from an authority figure that goes beyond the dollars and cents. Or you realizing that something has value in your life 
that goes beyond the dollars and cents. This is a discovery that many people are having now because Venus is in Scorpio. So it has to dig deeper. It has to find value in hidden places. And ultimately, I think maybe your hidden place is your heart. That sense of realizing that you have value that goes way beyond the paycheck that you bring in or the ladder that you've been able to climb. Um, this is also a sense of, ooh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it out loud. Right now, it's being suggested that you allow yourself a break, a, a vacation. <laughs> Let's put it that way. A vacation. Yep, I said it. Um, it's time to take a break and realize that because of all the changes that have happened, this is a very emotional period for you. And you should let yourself feel those things. And you should let yourself be okay with that other expression of who you are, not just the expression of that you like to show everybody. That sense of, I'm, I can release now is what it's saying. I can let go. I can, I can cry. I can be more vulnerable. I am protected. It is a good time for me to, to release and let go and crumble. And if you feel that way, trust the universe because the universe is saying, yeah, Capricorn, that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. You are, it's good that you feel that way. You are in sync with what the universe has in store for you. Let that crumble happen because new shit is already here. That one chapter in your life, it's done. You finished it. That new one is beginning. So let's get into the gory details, shall we? Um, we're also going to project out a little bit into the future. Let's see how this moon impacted you since it was a very powerful new moon. Probably the most powerful new moon of the year. And let me tell you why. Because it was preceded by a solar eclipse. Okay. And the moon is the place of birth anyway. And the sun is the place of life and vitality and who you are when you're alive. The sun was eclipsed. It was dark. And the moon was dark. That is a complete and total fucking reset. And I've been saying that for weeks. This makes the new moon that came after that eclipse. During that dark moon. That makes that sliver of light. It's going to taste so much better. It's going to feel so good. It's going to feel so much better than it's ever felt. And the newness and the freshness of really having a clean slate and knowing what to do with it now. Because the one thing that you don't lose, even when you transition between lives, is you don't lose the lessons that you've learned. So even though, you know, I, I like things have changed and, 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 and you're not living the same life that you used to live and, you know, the, the butterfly can never be a caterpillar again. It still has the experiences of being a caterpillar. It still knows what it knows. So you're really starting not from rock bottom. You're starting from experience. And what a wonderful and powerful place to start from. We have a new romantic cycle begins. I told you your heart space was cracking open. I could definitely feel that. And this card indicates an equal relationship or that your relationship is balancing out. And let me tell you guys, because I've been with you through it all and I saw that horrible fucking opposition. I think it was in August. Oh, between Saturn and Venus, it was ugly. If your relationship survived that, it's going to, even if you're not going on vacation, it's going to feel like you want a vacation <laughs> because that was the testing point. That was the, let me see if I can break this down. I'm going to grind on this bitch. You know, I'm going to, let me see if I can just completely eradicate it. And if your relationship did dissipate in that situation, or it could have been your financial situation, totally crumbled. The fact that you learned something from it and survived and you lived another day is saying that now you get to come back from that. You're making your comeback. And if it is a relationship and it did survive, it's going to feel so good. 
it's gonna feel like you are absolutely like 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 it's Christmas every day and what a perfect season to be feeling that lightening in than the holiday season you know Mars couldn't retrograde in a better time because it's letting us slow down it's making us not feel so driven to move forward like all our value is our progress no no people are gonna take time with you this week and moving into the next couple of weeks with that trying to Mars retrograde because you Saturn has been trying to Mars just a few weeks ago just a couple weeks ago but Mars retrograde is a little bit different it's calmer people will take more time with you. You'll, you'll find yourself able to give more time and not feel like it's grinding on your patience. <sighs> Balance, stability, and an equal partnership. So somebody is willing to give as much as you. This is Libra energy. No, yeah, yeah, this is Libra energy. And then a little bit into the future, so we know what this new moon is bringing. New moon in Aries, it's time to take action. So there's a build here. There's also a sense of strengthening the sense of self and realizing, okay, my partnership, my family, my foundation is strong. So now is when I can start taking action. It's also telling me that whatever opportunity is coming in over the next couple of weeks is when you will actually be able to start it, take action on it, and you should go for it, whatever that means to you. If you want to share, I'd love to know. Leave the comments below. And oh, while you're at it, that like button, that little thumbs up, it goes a long way. It helps a lot. Um, your hard work is paying off. Oh, sucky, sucky. I think, number one, this is a realization that your hard work has paid off and that you, it's not just on somebody else, it's not always about somebody else, how you've worked on yourself, how, you, how your life, like acknowledging it, seeing it, realizing, oh, this is new, isn't it? Getting comfortable with the fact that it, 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 the new is real. And it's not going anywhere. You're not going to slide backwards from this. You know, it's kind of like a pregnancy. People don't like to announce it for the first couple of weeks, like for the first trimester. It's kind of like that. I'm not saying that you're going to get pregnant, though congratulations if you are. This is a sense of you're finally being able to announce or take action on like a, situ a situation that was really hairy, crumbly, it was hard work but you're seeing that your hard work paid off and now in the next couple of weeks you're going to feel comfortable being able to move forward with it and say okay yeah i'll take the car out now or yeah we'll, we'll write the announcement letters now i feel comfortable taking action and and letting people know this is happening now because i feel comfortable that the new is real and not just a concept or a maybe or a hypothetical it is actually solidifying I love this for you. Okay. <sighs> Tell me who this is about or what for those Capricorns that are itching to know who or what is this about the full card. So a, this is either about somebody who's sassy, um, kind of hippy dippy. Um, or this is about a situation that you were new to. It, you felt new, right? You felt like beginner, but there's a sense of you were ready to jump in. So the what is this about? Is this your new life? It's whatever newness you just jumped into. And the cards are definitely, because this is coming out current situation, the cards are encouraging you jump take the leap of faith it's going right along with the astrology and the moon cards that are saying predicting that you're going to be announcing something or setting something off in a couple of weeks this is saying jump into it now it is a good time to do it trust take that leap of faith we have the king of pentacles here but he's in reverse and the moon card here in reverse this is a horrible energy this is a sense of not being good with money and being shady about it so if you were dealing with somebody who was 
I don't know, not on the up and up about their financial situation. Um, maybe that's what you have to leap at and that's who you have to confront, especially if, see, this is how a set of cards can change everything, especially if it's been bothering you. It's been nagging on you. Has somebody been cheap with you? Have you felt like somebody has been keeping money from you or holding money back or somebody didn't offer you a job? Something wasn't on the up and up. There is a sense of a new fresh start with that situation. And I want to see, ooh, we're going to see a little bit of what's going to come from it. Page of Swords is here. You're going to get a message from this person. I feel like this may have been somebody who fired you or somebody who limited you in some way. That future that we were just talking about, the specific event is a message, probably an email, a DM, a text message that's coming in from somebody who I feel they screwed you in a little bit. I feel, I feel like they, they did. They, they either undermined you or they underestimated you. They undervalued you. And you'll be getting an email from them and it's because they want a new start. Let's get into what that means. But first and foremost, I got to say, they got to show you that they're different, that they've changed. And what I'm getting from the vibe of this energy is they have. At the very least, they suddenly see how valuable you were. And they want to start over. Or you're going to get a chance to start over. In a situation where maybe you made a mistake. Let's get into the extended. I cannot wait. I'll see you guys there. The links are below.